Hi guys, welcome to the next section. And finally, it's time to start with our first WebDriver IO web automation script. So first, let's go to the test and let's create a new file and let's name it, for example, example.js. And I think you already know how a simple test file looks like. Since we are using Mocha, we always need to start with something called describe block. And basically describe is the function where you can group all your test steps. So we will start with description, for example, first steps with WebDriver IO. And here inside describe block, you can specify as many test steps as you want. And each test step start with keyword it. And again, each it has a description. So let's start with simple launching the browser and opening a simple website. So I'm gonna give a description, load example website. And here you can specify your WebDriver IR code. So let's start with launching the browser and navigating to the URL. And for that, WebDriver IO provides us with a global object called browser. Oops, sorry, it's browser. And the browser has some functions. And the first function you need to learn is URL. And here you need to set the address which URL you want to load. So let's start with example.com, which is nothing but a simple website. And as you can see, this is our first script. Basically, we are telling the global browser object to call URL function. And by the name URL, you can see that it's navigating to this website. So that's pretty much it. Now we can run the simple test. But first, let's create a script. So go to the package JSON. And as you can see, there is no test specified in the script and we need to update it. And what we want to basically run here is a simple script we will call video. And the name of the video configuration file, which is video dot conf dot js and that's it now if you hit test script it will launch everything specified in the video config and it will start executing the tests so let's try it let's open terminal and type npm run test and we get an error so we have probably a mistake in the specified address. So let's quickly fix that. So let's open a video conf and let's scroll on the top. And as you can see, we have typo here because it's not named test, but tests. So let's fix it and hit enter. Now open terminal as well. And let's run the test again. And as you can see, there is a lot of NPM errors, which are not coming from the WebDriver IO, but they are coming from the node environment itself. And if you don't want to see them in case of error, you can do this and run with the flag of silent. Now in the case of errors, it will not be displayed here. So let's run the tests again. And now we are successful. And as you can see, our first step is passing. So congratulations, you are able to create your first WebDriver IO test. Even though it was so fast, you didn't even see what's going on. And for that, I'm going to show you in the next video how you can stop the execution of the browser so you can actually see what's going on inside the test. But for now, it's all. And remember, if you want to load any website, all you have to do is use the global context of browser, function URL, and pass it the URL address as parameter and you can pass it whatever URL address you want and it will always open a browser and navigate to that website. So I think that's all for the first lesson and in the next video 
I'm going to show you how to pause the test as promised. So see you there.